them. So today we are going to be doing this creepy, spooky jack-o'-lantern pumpkin tutorial. And if you didn't know, this is my sister Valerie. She's on my channel occasionally here. We decided that we wanted to do something creepy today and this is what we came up with. I really hope you guys enjoyed this. If you do, please don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel down below. It's that red button down there and it's free. And if you press it and then press the bell next to it, you'll never miss another one of my videos and you'll become a part of the Glam Fam. I post new videos every single week Especially right now, it's Glamoween on my channel, which means lots of Halloween videos throughout the month of October. And let's get into this tutorial. Alright guys, we're going to start off with a orange water activated body paint. And we're just going to paint the whole face and also the chest area. Keep in mind that the faster you get this on, the less time that the paint has to dry, so the less streakier it will be. You can always go in with the second layer after it has dried completely, which is what I did on her face and chest as well. So on her chest area, we are just going to kind of push this out and kind of make a fading effect. And then once we have that done, we are going to set the face with some translucent powder. Once we have everything set, we're just going to start to map out our design. This is just some white body paint and we are just mapping out the eyes with some dots to make sure both of them are even. Once we are done mapping it out, we are going to go in and trace around the dots to get the shape around the eyes. And then once we are done mapping that out and tracing it out, we are gonna start to move on to the other portions of our face, so our mouth. So. When we are mapping, we are making sure these dots are completely aligned on both sides and this is what's going to help us get that symmetry on both sides of the face. Then we're when we're done with that, we are going to go in and just roughly draw in the teeth or the mouth design that we want. This is just very rough and it's also a very light orange color so that if we do mess up, it's super easy to cover. Once we are done with that, we are going to go in with black and go back over that outline that we just did, making sure we keep this more precise. And any little changes you want to do, you can do right now, but it's harder to go back once you've done it in black to fix mistakes. And then once we're done mapping everything out in black, we are just going to fill it in, making sure you stay in the design on the mouth and try and make it as black as you can. Once again, you can go over it again once the first layer is dry. Then we're going to go in and fill in the eyes as well. And we are using the same technique that we did for the mouth. The easiest way to get the eye work not to crease is to do the top of the eye first, let that dry, and then once that is dry, you can start to work on the bottom of the eye. This gives the top portion of the eye time to dry before your model opens her or his eyes, and then you can move on to the bottom, and they can just you know keep looking up so that the bottom of the eye can dry as well. I could swear. Another trick to get your eyes to crease less is before you go and move on to the bottom, set the top once it is dry. And then you can move on to other steps. Right here I am just lining in the sides of the pumpkin. This is just a rough sketch of the sides of the pumpkin. So this is just a gray eyeshadow and I'm going in and we want to kind of bow out a little bit from the first center line, if that makes sense. So on each side, 
of the center line, you're gonna bow out towards whatever side you are on. This is gonna give your face a more rounder appearance. Then I'm just going to color in the nose really fast, super simple, it was a really small nose. And now we're gonna move on to the bottom of the eyes. Everything is dry and set on the top. We gave it enough time and now we can just color everything else in. Once that is on and dried, we're going to set that as well. And then we're just going to dust everything off with some more translucent powder and also go in with some black powder just to make the black portions of our face look more black. Now I'm gonna go in with a pencil brush and some dark, dark gray powder and dark brown powder. This is just eyeshadow and we are going to make circular motions all the way down each line. This is gonna help feather out the shadow on both sides of the sketch that we have done to make it look like it has depth. And then once we are finished with that, we are just going to continue these lines down the neck and the chest. And we are going to roughly, once again, do these lines. And we also want the fade to be good. So really take your time on when you go back over each line with this circling motion. This is really gonna help the fade look realistic. And then once we are done with all of the fading, we are gonna take the blackest eyeshadow that we have with a skinny, stiff eyeshadow brush, and we are just going to go right down the middle of each blended line to make it look even deeper and give it more dimension. We don't want to blend this out at all. Once we are done with that, we are gonna go in to our line work, taking a really, really, really skinny brush and some water-activated black body paint we are gonna go in and draw some of these twig-like veins all over this design. So we're going to focus this around the eyes, but also around our mouth. And then eventually we will take a bigger brush and put some of these same veins on her neck and chest. And then you're going to add some contacts and you are done. All right guys, that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please don't forget to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe down below. It's that red button down there, it's free. And I put new videos up every single week, especially now, it is Glamoween on my channel, which means new Halloween videos, all the time during October. And I also have a Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. They are also at Beauty by Josie K. And I really hope you guys will go check them out as well. And that is it for this tutorial. I will see you guys in my next one. I love y'all. Bye!